Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. We're going to go as Isaac as usual. And still our main goal here is going to try to be... Let's see if we get first reroll on Fire in My Laser. Tears up from Sad Onion. That might even be Tears Max. Hard to tell. Fire rate definitely up. Our goal is just going to be to get that Christmas achievement, a gift from Krampus. Apparently shows up in the deal with the Devil Room. And otherwise we're just going to be playing Isaac, you know, old fashioned the way we used to. Which means lots of stupid damage and occasionally stupid deaths, as we saw last time, where I played as Isaac, got rid of all of my regular hearts, turned them into spirit hearts uh, via deals with the devil, and then tried to make another deal with the devil for one regular heart, and it took like all ten of my spirit hearts, and I ended up dying the next time I got hit. I literally had no health on the screen. The health, the life meter was just blank. Hopefully, we don't run into that again. But, you know, one way or another, at least I learned something in that video. Now I understand what happens when you, uh, when you make a mistake like that. When you, you know, try to cheat the game by saying, Oh, it wants one regular heart? Well, how about I just give it one spirit heart? Well, it doesn't work like that. So we will destroy these gushers here. My favorite fruit snack from when I was a child. And... Oh no. Well, this should allow me to kill them anyway. Yeah, that was easier. That was the first time I think that pill has ever done me that much good. You know what? We're gonna go back and explore this last room over here because I want to make sure I clear out the entire floor before we fight whoever the boss is. And I kind of hope, you know, it would be a rough draw because we're so early in the game, but it would be nice to fight... Oh, that was terrible. It'd be nice to fight the Fallen just to get, like, a really good item right off the bat. Because obviously he drops something uh, that you can only get otherwise from deals with the Devil. But who knows? This should be our secret room here. Let's try to get up to 15 cents as early as possible. Well, that's gonna be a start, I suppose. And I'm gonna save this key. Could use it to go to the shop and potentially get an item at half off, but instead, I'm gonna save it for the next floor. I'll probably use that for the item room. Dealing with the regular version of Monstro. Been a while since I saw a regular Monstro. Obviously, not too much of a problem, but you know, Monstro... Let's put it this way, he's harder than Larry Jr. Not by a lot. But, but harder than Larry Jr. nonetheless. So we are now on, but coming up to day three of the Steam sale. Again, remember these videos do have a one day lag time. Interested in knowing what you guys picked up or got as gifts. Wondering in particular if anybody got any like good full games as gifts from the Great Gift Pile. Yesterday I bought Costume Quest and Psychonauts and managed to get another couple of achievements. There was an achievement for Payday the Heist. I'm going to take this HP up. Uh, which I got, which was really easy, and thanks to a couple of viewers for helping me get that one, actually. I got the achievement in Psychonauts as well, got the achievement for joining that free Steam group, uh, and out of all of that, I literally got three lumps of coal. So now I finally had seven lumps of coal and decided, you know, I'm gonna trade it in for a gift. The gift I got, 50% off Hacker Evolution, which is a game, you know, I already, Hacker Evolution came out a couple years ago, I already own the sequel, I was given it as a review copy, and I hate to say this, because I'm kind of throwing the developer under the bus, but I don't really like it that much, so there's no danger of that coupon being used. Yeah, let's pop this open. Worth it. So, um, you know, anecdotally, my advice, as we enter the item room here and re-roll that attack fly for a speed up, I consider that a fair trade. Uh, anecdotally, my advice is keep your coal. I mean, it's a 1 in, like, 35 million shot that you're going to win one of those prizes. Like five games from this from your Steam wishlist, or ten or twenty games from your Steam wishlist, or every game on the Steam library. But uh, the you're not trading seven coal for a game. Always, you might be trading seven coal for the worst coupon you've ever had, which is what I'm sitting at right now. So right now my inventory it almost looks worse. Like I would prefer actually having the seven coal. I have 50% off Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, 50% off Hacker Evolution. 50% off a of Valve game and 25% off a of Valve game. And 50% off Demolition Inc. A game I know absolutely nothing about. Now let's definitely go check out the Mob Trap Room. But anyway, yeah, I am interested in hearing what you guys have got. Because, you know, I've seen these posts. People have gotten Skyrim. People have gotten Shogun 2, a game that I would be really interested in winning. Civilization 5, etc., etc. Like, really good marquee games. And I understand that those are going to be rare. But let me know if you've won any of those. The best prize I've heard of someone telling me they won was a copy of Hydrophobia, Hydrophobia Prophecy, which is the, the Hydrophobia, like, director's cut. Uh, which, you know, is a great that you got a full game, but is still not a very good game based on what I've heard, so... 
that's not exactly a glowing recommendation. Let's make our way back up to the shop here. But again, we're only two days into the Steam sale. Here's hoping, you know, in about three hours those sales are going to roll over. We'll get more chances at achievements. Uh, let's re-roll this. 15 cents for an HP up is steep, but I'll take it because, you know, I'm almost certainly going to trade with the devil. Uh, yeah, we, like in a few hours we're going to get new achievements, we'll get a new gift from the great gift pile. There's always a free achievement every day. Yesterday was joining the, uh, the Steam Holiday group. So you can amass some coal, maybe give yourself a shot in this, uh, in this giveaway, if nothing else. Let's make our way down to the boss room here. Sadly, I won't have any D6. But hopefully I'll be fighting a Horseman of the Apocalypse, so it won't even matter. Nope, Duke of Flies. And I don't have any bombs, which is a problem, but... Actually, it's not that much of a problem, because Duke of Flies is one of the easier bosses that we can face right now. Um, yeah, so yeah, let me know what you got. Let me know what you're hoping to get, and let me know how much coal you have. And what you're planning to do with it. You're planning to keep your coal, give yourself like a astronomical shot at that giveaway, or trade it in for something that may or may not be useful. And, you know, don't let me influence your decision with that Hacker Evolution anecdote. Maybe you'll be the person that wins, like, every version of the train simulator on Steam. And maybe you're into that. I mean, not great odds, but maybe. Definitely gonna take that HP up, and we'll see what we get with Satan here. Oh! Hey, it's Krampus! Maybe we will get our holiday achievement after all. Oh god, he's like the Fallen. Okay, so far so okay. He's like, he's like exactly like the Fallen, basically, except for the fact that he can shoot uh, without chasing after you first. Okay. That is a freaky looking goat monster there. Also, Merry Christmas! <laughs> what a horrifying creature. But the fight hasn't been so bad so far. Remember, like in Isaac, I tend to suck my first time against bosses, which is understandable because like they're all about pattern recognition. But I'm doing okay here. I'm hoping he doesn't like change into a second form or anything. He has hit me a few times because I'm an idiot and just keep getting in the way of that attack. Really should just rely on firing in diagonal on him. Oh, I almost didn't get out of the way of that one. Oh, that's some tough dodging. He's a little bit, on the surface, a little bit tougher than the Fallen. We'll see. Oh, yep, more dumb damage. He fires that so quickly. But I don't think I'm in any danger of dying during this boss fight, but I will lose a lot of health. And I wonder if he will drop an item upon completion. If not, at least I get that achievement, which will probably... When uh, when Isaac becomes one of the Christmas objectives, I'll automatically get like another lump of coal. By and by me, beats a coupon for, you know, Farming Simulator 2012. One more hit, maybe? There we go, there's an achievement. And our item? Oh, hey! Lump of coal! Oh god, what's wrong with my face? And now my tears are black as well. Alright, cool stuff. We'll pick up a little bit of this health, and we will go back and pick up some of the other hearts that I've abandoned, because it took a lot of damage there. Um, Lump of Coal, I'm not sure how it affects my stats. My guess is that because it's Lump of Coal, it probably doesn't affect them at all. But, in any case, I picked up another item, so I guess I'm, I'm above Golden God now. Uh, maybe this Maybe this gives me a little bit of increased damage. It's hard to tell, just... Like, observationally, but we'll see. So there's one more objective completed in Isaac. Tears up, fantastic. Only one more thing left to do in the game, and that's not take damage on the depths. Uh, which, you know, I was gonna say is unrealistic, but I did get not taking damage on the womb, so I suppose anything can happen. Will it be this video? Hmm, no bombs with which to get to that. You know what, let's fight the boss right away. So we can use our D6 appropriately. Well, never mind. <laughs> I hate little Chub or little Chad. Always mess that up. Hey, dropped a spirit heart. That's actually a pretty good pickup. We'll do a. Oh, just barely managed to sneak through there. We're dealing a pretty good amount of damage. Lump of coal might be a, a tears up or a damage upgrade. It's hard to tell. Up. Uh, and remember that little Chad, if he hits you like that, does one full heart of damage. So, gotta be a little bit cautious. I've already lost that spirit heart I picked up, but at least I didn't lose any of my regular hearts. And obviously we will not be able to reroll here. Maybe little Chad is a good thing, because I've already taken more damage than usual simply as a result of fighting that boss that I was totally unfamiliar with. Now, there we go, little Chad will die. Thanks for the half heart. Maybe we'll fight Krampus again on this room. 
Thankfully, no. Uh, I don't want... I, um, I kind of want... Let's take this for damage upgrade. Oh, I didn't want to take that. I walked into it by accident. All right, it's got... Things got real now. The good news is, if I can manage to get some more HP ups, and then trade um, all of my regular hearts for spirit hearts this way, then the Whore of Babylon will constantly be in use, as opposed to before when I traded for it, and well, it was constantly in use, but I didn't have any health left over. This way I will still have some spirit hearts. At the very least, you know, I know when I get down to half a heart, I'll be doing really good for damage. I meant to reroll that Whore of Babylon and maybe pick up a Brimstone. But that's okay. We'll make it out of this alive, hopefully. Provided we don't run into any like super difficult rooms. At least like on the caves part one, we're gonna we're gonna survive here quite easily. I feel like the horror of Babylon would be much better if it also provided a bit of a stats buff. In fact it might. Uh, I haven't checked that out myself. But if it gave you like plus one damage or you know plus one damage, plus one tiers, or a little bit of speed upgrade. In addition to the fact that it gave you the curse, then it would be a, a more worthwhile item. Oh, didn't expect to actually be able to kill that Silkhorn before it got to me. But, you know, sometimes miracles do happen, what can I say? So let's fire our coley tears down here. I will hold on to the hanged man, because I do not want the fool that just takes us back to the spawn room. So here is our item room. Should be able to take these turrets out quite quickly. Ah, that was dumb. It was too fast to be able to dodge that effectively. In the item room we have Book of Shadows, which is probably worthwhile at this point, but I'm going to reroll. Halo of Flies is actually a lot better. That's going to give us some uh, added defense. Now, if we could just get a single cube of meat, we'd be, uh, we'd be in a good situation here for defense. Something that could really help me against uh, flies and enemies that shoot regular bullets. Half a heart, not necessary. Um, Could go to the shop and maybe pick up a, a spirit heart half off, but that's pretty unlikely. So, instead we'll just go back down to the boss room here. Why not use the hanged man here to pick up this extra key? I've been holding onto that card for far too long. Now I'm hoping two things happen on this floor. One, we get more spirit hearts, or you know, more HP ups as well. And then two, we get another opportunity to trade with the devil. Because I would really like to pick up brimstone or mom's knife. And I would also really like to have a lot of health. And getting spirit hearts instead of regular hearts means when I made that trade with the devil, it's possible, not necessarily likely, but possible, that um, I could only have spirit hearts left and then thus be in the cursed horror of Babylon state the entire time. Uh, yeah, this is definitely worth a bomb. Which would give me, I believe, max damage and probably max some other stats as well, or at least improved other stats. Oh god, get out of there. As of right now, I think that Whore of Babylon essentially just cost me two hearts for nothing. It's like I took two health down pills by accident. Which I haven't seen uh, a lot of health down pills in a while. Maybe those got kind of taken out of the game. People are getting frustrated. Ah, I would love to have used my hangman on that. Of course, after I use it, I find a number of locations where it would have been actually more useful. Oh well. Uh, can't complain about having a lot of keys, I suppose. Much better than the alternative. Now, come down here, try to avoid these shots. Shouldn't be too tough if I could just get a couple diagonals in on this guy. There we go. Another key, and uh, I don't really feel comfortable doing that, considering uh, my health right now. We'll see if maybe I can pick up a, a great item first. Gotta be really careful with my dodges on this room. Suffice to say, not taking damage on the depths might not be something to, to strive for, it might be a necessity considering how much health I have right now. Definitely gonna take the Relic, that's actually a fantastic pickup right now. That's gonna give us one Spirit Heart, I believe, every four runes. Ah, uh, that was dumb. Playing with fire now. Um, what's our tarot card? The Moon, which takes us to the Secret Room. Which gives us a slot machine, which we will play and hopefully get lucky here. Really, I would take anything. Spirit Hearts, Bombs, Keys. Um, you know, a dollar bill, that would probably be the best. And one more. Well, this thing's looking like it's probably going to get blown up. Oh! Hey, that was a good payout, actually. Well worth the four cents. Considering we got a key out of it as well. And then we'll go up here. Tricky room, gotta make sure I'm not in range of the TNT when I shoot it. If I shoot it, I guess. I didn't really need to there. 
And then we're just basically going to try to amass as many spirit hearts as we can because otherwise we're in a tough spot here. This is better than the Book of Revelations, I think. I can't remember if it's once every four rooms or once every six rooms. At the very least, if it's once every six rooms, that's as good as the Book of Revelations. So as long as I don't take very much damage, we can do all right for ourselves here. Here's hoping. That's my goal with these, like, late Isaac challenge rooms. Well, not even challenge rooms anymore, but, uh, late Isaac gameplays. It's just to show, like, a variety. And, and these actually are challenging because I'm playing it a little different than the way I would play it normally. Oh, man. There's the spirit heart. There's the bombs. I don't know where the bombs came from. I guess they're just a bonus for beating the level. But show a variety of ways to beat the game. Let's put it that way. Because normally I could play it safe, oh, um, we'll get Book of Revelations, we'll get Brimstone, although I love Brimstone, obviously. Uh, okay, good, so we're going to get incredible defense upon defeating this level, because we're going to have Halo of Flies in addition to the Cube of Meat. And we're taking Pestilence out really quickly, those damage upgrades doing a number on him. He'll die, there we go, one more hit. Cube of Meat, no deal with the Devil, but that's alright. And because we have the Relic, we will do some more exploring down here, just because every room is another room closer to getting another Spirit Heart. Which are probably the only things that are going to keep me alive once we get down into the womb and those harder levels. Definitely won't be going to the shop, unless, you know, by some miracle this room drops a nickel, which is not out of the question, but is, you know, suffice to say, unlikely. Live Bomb. Uh, it's worth a nickel, kind of, but it is not a nickel. You cannot use explosives or improvised explosive devices as legal tender. I don't have first-hand experience with that, but I'll tell you that it probably won't work out for you, especially if you try to buy something at the airport. Down into the depths part one. There is a tinted rock over here. And I might come back for that chest if I have to backtrack. Two spirit hearts is a huge pickup. Right there, I could use one bomb and one key to get to that. In fact, I probably will do that. But first, why not just... Oh, uh, Halo of Flies saved me there. And there. Thank you. We will get this chest that is more or less free. It just costs one bomb. Pays out a key. Fair trade, and a cent as well. Which makes it slightly more than an equivalent trade. There's another key... Item room is 10 bombs. You know what? I'll take that. Those will always be useful, especially as you get further and further into the late game, because obviously against Mom's Heart, those are a bonus. Sometimes against the Fallen, those will be a bonus. Oh, I should have rerolled that speed upgrade, and I knew it as soon as I hit W to try to move towards it, but that's okay. More speed never really hurt anybody, except if you're really new at the game and you walk into spikes all the time, which I, even though I have a lot of experience in this game, still sometimes do. That's okay, this will make it easier for us to get around things. Five cents is not great for going to the shop. I would love to just pick up two more to make it uh, more feasible. There's another Spirit Heart. Doing really well on health now, which is, again, why I would love to see a two-hard deal with the Devil for something like Brimstone, which would give me Perpetual Whore of Babylon. Really a two-hard deal for anything. It's almost beneficial, even if it's not a good two-hard deal. For example, let's say... Uh, I believe this only ever costs one heart, but if there's a two heart deal for the Ouija board, not a great item, but worth taking simply because it causes that Whore of Babylon item to come into effect. Which may be worthwhile. Now this is a tricky setup here. Really should have taken out that one in the middle before I land with these guys. But that's okay. Managed to work ourselves out of that one. Pick up a lot, or a few more bombs, not a lot of more bombs, a lot of more bombs. Sounds like a bad Austin Powers ripoff for a Femme Fatale. There's one more dead. We only have one more to go. Nice thing about uh, Halo of Flies here is that I very rarely have to worry about those bullets that the turrets are shooting out. Simply because of the fact that they almost always get blocked. Managed to make it out of there. Okay. You know, I will check here for the secret room. We got a lot of bombs. Could potentially pick up nine cents my hope. Three cents? Alright, well, if you say so, we might end up saving our money for the shop on the next floor, even though we're probably going to run into greed. I mean, you know, we could run into greed on this floor as well. My greed foo is weak right now. Let's put a bomb there, hopefully get two. Just one. Alright, well, I don't want to waste any more bombs, so we'll just try to solve this the old-fashioned way. 
go. Come. There we go. One more dead. There we go. There we go. There we go. This zombie will be dead. And we made it out. Picked up another key for our troubles. And three flies in a turret is not a difficult room, even though I walked on that spike like an idiot. No need for that. What are they going to give me? Bombs or keys? I have no interest in it. Well, I would have an interest in bombs, but not not at the cost they're asking, which is, you know, potentially taking some damage. Right now, I've really got to be cautious about the amount of damage I'm taking, because, again, I don't know if I will have a deal with the Devil Room. If I do, I'm already at minus two hearts right now, because I'm almost certainly going to take that deal, no matter what it is. Now, we got that Leaper out of the way, not first, but soon, which meant I didn't have to worry too much about health, or about losing health. Hero Font is another two Spirit Hearts, that's fantastic. Let's see who we're fighting here. Alright, so we're going to get our upgraded cube of meat, which is a good pickup because it will still serve some defensive purpose as well. Reroll is going to be worthless for me, but that's okay. Uh, maybe we'll get a deal with the Devil Room. I haven't taken a whole lot of damage on this floor as of yet, but I could easily on this room right here. Gotta kind of predict where those bombs are going to go, which is more difficult than it sounds. Because every bomb, when it explodes, has an effect on the surrounding bombs. Now, I'm faster than War at this point, so this fight is a no-brainer now. There's no way he can catch up to me. We will pick up the cube of meat. Who are we dealing with here? Krampus again? Nope. Um, you know, there is that damage upgrade, which should be fantastic. Yeah, I'm going to take that. And now, should we not be in the Horror Babylon state constantly? Indeed, we are. Okay, so let's continue exploring. So I should have max damage and beyond at this point. Like, I should be destroying these things very, very quickly. And in fact, I am. We'll see how this works on the bosses. That's really the best way to tell how much damage you're doing. Is how quickly you can destroy the bosses. And I mean, we're going to be dealing with Mom on the next floor. I thought about re-rolling on that floor and thinking, you know, like, I could probably get Brimstone, maybe. But, this is a little bit different, so I figured why not try this. So we're going to be dealing with the Mom boss fight on this floor. How quick can we take out these zombies? Well, very quickly if we use a bomb. There's two. I was hoping we'd get that third one, but that's okay. Still takes a few hits to take out the zombies, but that's to be expected. These guys are heavily armored. I'm almost walking into them. In fact, that's how I take a lot of my damage against zombies these days. Just walking into them by accident. Blood Bank. Again, sadly, the unfortunate part about only dealing in spirit hearts is that we don't need the Blood Bank. In fact, the Blood Bank is actually detrimental to us. So we'll blow that up. Then again, Little Chad is useless for us right now, too. Dealing with... Ah, it's a tough room. Very tough room, in fact. A lot of things working against us here. Leapers and zombies, two of my least favorite enemies. Not to mention the fact that we're in a very congested space. Uh, so I don't have very much room to dodge. The good news is they don't have very much room to go either. Could fight the boss right away, but I don't want to because I want to go to the item room in the shop. Beforehand. This is going well so far. But I have taken damage on the depths, so, you know, so much for that achievement. That's okay, though. Eyeless Ooze, guys. I don't foresee as being much of a problem when I'm doing, like, off-the-scale damage here. Oh! Ah! <laughs> of course! My hubris! They got to me. Oh, well. We're probably gonna get enough money to make going to the shop worthwhile. Although, also probably gonna end up fighting Greed. This is some terrible damage on these last two rooms, but it's only a half-heart. That's okay. Relic will keep me juiced up here. <clears throat> If only we could get, like, Little Stevie or something, that would uh, help me take out these flies. I mean, Meat Boy does his best, too, but he doesn't have, like, directed aim. He just aims wherever he is. Straight ahead, I should say. Yeah. Destroy these fetuses. Should not be very difficult. That Spirit Heart, I would love to get to it. I just don't know how. I've got an idea, though. So there's a Spirit Heart behind the slot machine. Let's put a bomb here. Back up. Shoot it. There you go, how do you like that? Even picked up another bomb from the slot machine. At some intermediate level, Isaac play, I would say. I'm gonna use one of those bombs immediately to at least clear things up here. Didn't work at all. Uh, so I'll use another one. Got the champion, fantastic. And hopefully someone drops a scent on this room, because I would hate to find out that this room is not inhabited by greed. More stupid damage. Can't afford to have those at this point in the game. I would hate to find that this room is inhabited by greed, or is not inhabited by greed, but I need one more cent to get an item. That would involve backtracking, which I don't like. 
All right, 15 cents for the compass. You know, we will pick that up. I'm not going to reroll. Oh, oh, right. I was just saying. I don't have 15 cents. All right, we'll leave and then come back, get a cent. Come back when we get a cent. Oh, well, that was easy. And the reason we're getting the compass rather than rerolling and potentially picking up, like, some kind of passive mushroom is simply because of the fact that uh, once we get to the womb, I don't want to mess around. Oh, that was horrible. Just walked over that spike like it was nothing. Of course, I want to go fight Lust in here because we could possibly get uh, an HP upgrade. Or a pill for tears up, that's fine too. Uh, thought my tears were already at max from a while ago. We have a golden chest in here. Poison touch? Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll go for poison touch. I could have rerolled that as well. Always forget that I have my D6. But hopefully, we'll pick up something from Mom that'll allow me to get rid of the D6 in good conscience. Normally you want to get rid of it on the depths part too because you're not going to need it much more for the womb and what comes afterwards. For now we're actually we're doing okay. I'm not sure how confident I feel in this build. But I don't feel unconfident, let's put it that way. Uh, as always, the determining factor, or the most determining factor, is the amount of damage that you do. And we're doing a lot of damage right now. Uh, as much damage as we would in a brimstone run, that's for sure. Although maybe not as quickly, if that makes any sense. Our method of delivery on this damage is not as quick as, as normal. As Brimstone, I should say. Not as normal. Remember before Brimstone was even added to the game? How did people beat the game back then? Uh, reroll that for sure. Necronomicon! Book of Lyle! <laughs> That's what I meant. So our damage is going to be uh, incredible here. Especially when we use Book of Lyle. Which is what I meant. Um... First, I gotta focus here. I'm not umming because of my Necronomicon mistake for like the 15th time. I'm umming because that was a difficult room to solve there, but now it's all done. What do we have here? Mom's bra. We'll just abandon that because, ah, you know, I might be able to recharge my D6. <laughs> Unlikely, but, but maybe. Let's hold on to this for a second. I gotta go to three more rooms. Uh, it's highly, highly unlikely, but we'll see. Nope. Impossible, in fact. Let's just get out of here. I don't want to deal with that room. Okay, we'll go back. Pick up Book of Belial. Again, I'm not even sure this is going to have any effects, considering we already have so much damage. But we'll see. Secret room? Lucky me. Three more cents? Eh, you know, not so lucky. We'll waste another bomb, even, to make my commute a little bit shorter. And then, come in here for the mom boss fight. With Book of Belial, we'll, we'll see how much damage I'm doing to it right away. I'm expecting... Yeah, that's pretty good. Again, yeah, piercing shots would uh, make us a cut above right now. Probably should have taken damage there. I didn't dodge as fast as I would have liked. We'll just continue hammering away here. As always. Ping. Oh! Extra close attention to the enemies that show up on the screen, because taking those out will allow us to beat this fight while taking as little damage as possible. Also, we'll get some lucky hits in on the eye and stuff like that. That was super easy. There's an HP upgrade, which will, is actually bad because it takes us out of the Horror Babylon state. What was I thinking? <clears throat> and then down to the next floor where we will immediately go to the right. Try to work our way out of uh, the situation right here. Now, I'm hoping again that we get a deal with the Devil Room and I can trade something for one heart because... Sadly, I got rid of my, my Horror Babylon this all for one heart, which is, you know, largely worthless to me at this point in the game. Can't believe I didn't take any damage there. I deserve to, let's put it that way. Uh, so yeah, hopefully there's like a Ouija board deal with the Devil Trade or something. Otherwise, uh, I'm definitely not going to use Book of Belial in this room. I'll save it for the boss, because, you know, 50% chance we get Skolex, 50% chance we get, um, death. I did, why didn't I dodge that? That was terrible. The poison Touch will do a number on him. And... No drops, sadly. Alright, this room, again, easily solved. We're gonna start by going up here. We'll do it one more time. Key is worthless, but it'll kill this guy. We'll get a heart that we can't use. And the boss. Alright, so there's death. We're gonna kill him. We're gonna get a nice little Meat Boy upgrade, which is good. But, it's also, this is the hardest boss I believe we could be facing right now. Next to the Fallen. I mean, the Pony is actually pretty easy. 
This guy spawns zombies, which are the biggest pain in the ass in like the entire game. There we go. He's dead. Now we just gotta deal with his horse. Oh, I shot it right into me. I always do that. Oh, it died somehow right there. Let's see what we got here. One hard trade for the Ouija board. Couldn't make this stuff up. I'm running really low on health right now, though. Uh, so I would love to not take any more damage, but that's probably a little unlikely. <clears throat> but in terms of actually dealing damage, we're back in the back in the saddle again here. Walked right into that. We're actually sprinted right into that if you looked at my speed. Because now we we do have a little bit less defense because we've lost that rotating meat boy and replaced him with. Did I not even pick up the cube of meat on the last floor? Well, that was dumb. <laughs> I think I just immediately ran for the devil room and was like, oh great, Horror Babylon's back. That's a shame. Although, you know, it might be for the best because Meat Boy oftentimes causes me to take a lot of damage. I'm trying to, you know, reconcile the, that terrible mistake that I made there. Yeah, Meat Boy will oftentimes actually cause me to take damage simply because of the fact that he uh, kicks bombs back at me. Gotta remember that I have the Ouija board here, too, so I can actually shoot through these rocks. It's because they shoot through walls, but that's kind of a mistake. Now we'll just hang out over here. I think we'll be fine, even if we have this health or a little bit lower against Mom's Heart. It might be one of the most exciting Mom's Heart boss fights we've had in a long time. Because it's by far, it's far and away not a foregone conclusion that my success, but... Still... Since, uh, we've gone the wrong way, which means we have a long way to go to get to this boss fight. We have to go all the way back to the spawn room and then down. This could take a hundred years. Which means, on the bright side, no reason not to use Book of Belial a few times on the way. Again, should take out most of these enemies pretty easily. Maybe two hits on Guts, three hits on those vaginal silkworms. Our key down on the next floor. This would have been a better candidate for the Book of Belial, but hey, hindsight's 2020. Not feeling so good about our chances here. Got lucky there. But you never know. We could make it. Stranger things have happened. Book of Belial's ready for another go. We might as well use it. Gotta be careful here. Lots of things shooting at us. And the other bright side is that we still have Meat Boy on defense, holding it down in that uh, you know center back position. Um, we will get enough to recharge Book of Belial over the course of the next two rooms, unless you know one of these rooms is just like a, just a treasure chest or just a heart or something. But if so, we'll just go back and wander into another room because I definitely want to go uh, into that mom boss fight with the deal or with the uh, Book of Belial already. Six cents, we will. Certainly, come down here to the shop and try to win some health. Some spirit hearts, obviously, because the other hearts don't affect me at all. Who helmet would not be bad, I suppose, but not ideal. I'm out of money already. And I won a single cent. Alright, we're going to use it on this guy. That better be a spirit heart when it comes out. Alright, well, hopefully you drop some spirit hearts. Key, largely worthless. Hill. Risky, let's try it. Two more spirit hearts. Who dares wins? And two more cents. Okay. So we should be fine for this boss fight unless, unless this last room is horrible, and it kind of is actually. Uh, but luckily we got those two spirit hearts in the last room, so. We're only down one now. And hey, there's another one from our relic. And we're going to take out these lasers before we use Book of Belial because it does have like a second lag time. Where it kind of, it does that Zelda thing where you like hold it over your head, I think. Uh, well, maybe. We probably would have been fine. I'm doing a lot of damage. Uh, only four bombs, which is not enough to do my like cycle move on Mom's Heart where I just place bombs non-stop. But it is enough to do uh, some hefty damage to whatever is coming out there. Ideally would use it for, like, uh, the zombies, because all four of them are going to be clustered in one spot. So this would be... Uh, Larry Jr. is a good uh, candidate for that as well, actually. Just pop this one in here. There's the zombies gone. I got one more bomb. Push it completely out of the way. Mom's heart is very nearly dead. Going to be firing bombs constantly now. That's okay. We'll just avoid the creep as long as we can. 
Watch out for Eyeless Ooze, guys. Go, and Mom's Heart will die. Didn't even get a hit in on us. Down to the Wound Part 3. Uh, we'll see. We will see. If, uh, if nothing else, at least we beat Krampus on this one. So I can say this run did accomplish something. Now, with no bombs, I would love to just vacate this room. But instead, I'm going to have to focus. I'm going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. Or I'm going to have to shoot that bomb fly right next to this door. Which is now impossible. But at the time, it sounded like a great pipe dream, even if it was never going to happen. Now, these guys are all walking around in slightly unpredictable, unpredictable patterns. Oh, almost got hit there. But there we go. Now, with only one guy left, I think I can take him pretty easily. If only I could... There we go. Finally! Useless nickel, okay. Stanley nickel. Who's this, Gluttony? I always forget who this is. Not Gluttony, this is Envy. No. No, this is not Envy. This is not Pride. Sloth! This is Sloth, okay. Always forget. It's been a long time since I watched Seven. What's in the box? Okay, and Sloth is dead. Drop the tarot card, which is actually potentially really useful. Wheel of Fortune. Let's see. I've only got nine cents. This will take a second. Useless? My guess is that all of these will be useless. But even a single bomb is really worthwhile because it would give me like a third off of the Fallen's health. Okay, what's this pill? Could be anything. I didn't want that at all. Let's use Book of Belial in this room. Uh, remember I said in the last video, I think blue enemies may always drop spirit hearts? Let's see. Hey, we found the secret room. Maybe this will pay for itself. Or maybe I'll be fighting greed. How much you want to bet I'm going to fight greed in there? The game has a six sense of humor. No spirit heart. Hey, one up. That is not that good because I'm dealing entirely in spirit hearts right now. So, uh, oh, that was bad. So, actually, I'm going to spawn. If I lose against Satan or I lose somewhere on this floor, I'm going to spawn again with exactly one heart left. Well, not one heart, zero hearts. No hits. Might as well look at the world card. I mean, oh, we actually do want to be going down this way. Oh, there's Greed. Knew we couldn't go one video without showing up. I got a lot of things to avoid here. Luckily, again, I still do have Halo of Flies and that Meat Boy. Maybe that'll be what saves me here. Because otherwise, I'm in kind of a pickle, to say the least. There's one Greed down. Did I hit the second one with, like, any residual shots? I must have. There's the second one down. Thanks for the steam sale, buddy. Turns out maybe I should have saved my D6. Could have re-rolled that into something useful. 50% off. But, again, totally worthless. This is bad. This is a bad room. Oh, and it's getting worse. Well, at least I've got that one up, so if I could beat Satan without taking a single hit of damage... We'll be fine. I would love to have a single bomb left right now. Really gotta just figure out when these guys are gonna be open and then go for it. Oh! Oh man, I, <laughs> I was one step behind them there. I should have taken some damage. It's a bad setup for me. Here we go. This oh, that was that was my chance on that guy. This is intense. This is like playing Pac-Man DX. Okay, now we only have one. He should be easy. Should be. And he probably only has like one hit left. I can't believe I survived. Got one more spirit heart. This is going to be a long shot, but it would be great if it happened. My post-mortem on this one is going to be pretty clear. Don't do so many deals with the devil. They end up hurting you in the long run. Well, if you make like six of them. I made like four of them, I think, in this video. Ouija board, Horror of Babylon, Pact, and the deal. So I've given up eight red hearts to work entirely in spirit hearts, with the, which are unable to be replenished. But you know, I've fought the Fallen, and the Fallen won. But I've, I've succeeded at this fight several times. One and a half left. Oh man, this is going to be tight. It's doable, but it's going to be tight. Alright, Meat Boy, I need you to really step up your game here. And I really can't afford to be taking much damage against this guy right here. I can only take two hits and survive. 
My guess, uh, if, if I'm gonna succeed, if I'm gonna have any chance of succeeding, I would have to take zero hits against Satan's second form here. Because God knows I'm probably gonna take a hit from a bomb fly at some point in Satan's third form. Well, I did my end of the bargain, now let's, let's just try to avoid these bomb flies. Oh, I almost walked into one. That would have been the worst. Just gotta stay sharp. Halfway done. Man, I may actually succeed here. I can't believe I did it. I just beat Satan without taking any damage? No, I took one damage against the Fallen. But still, wow! Quite a fight there at the end. So we ended up indeed getting that gift with Krampus achievement and beat the game against kind of all odds. So I didn't expect that to happen. But as always, thank you guys for watching this slightly unconventional run through the Binding of Isaac. I'll see you next time.